Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create hair using the Blender particle system and simulate it with the hair dynamics. I have an animated character important from Mixamo. You can watch my tutorial on using Mixamo animations in Blender from the link. Hide the armature in the Outliner editor. Open the viewport shading menu and switch to the matcap tab. Choose any matcap and set the color type to texture for better visuals. Select the existing hair and delete it. Select the body and go to the particle properties tab. Add a particle system, switch the particle type to hair and set the hair length to 0.5 meters. By default, the hair particles emit from the entire body. To limit them to the head, we'll use a vertex group. Go to the Object Data Properties tab and create a new vertex group. Rename it Hair Density. Switch to the Edit mode. Go to the Modifiers tab and enable the Edit mode and On Cage options in the Armature modifier so you can display the modifier in the edit mode. Go back to the Object Data Properties tab. Select the vertices where the hair grows. With the hair density vertex group selected, click the assign button. So, the selected vertices will be assigned to the group. Switch back to the object mode. Go to the particle properties tab and open up the vertex group panel. In the density group, select the hair density vertex group we just created. That's it. Now, let's groom the hair. Switch to Particle Edit mode and change the Selection mode to point to view the hair segments. By default, the segments are set to 5. Switch back to Object mode and increase the segments value to 10. When you return to Particle Edit mode, you'll see that each particle now has 10 segments, making it easier to comb the hair. With the comb brush selected, start brushing the hair. Increase the brush strength for better control and press F to adjust the brush size. Open the Options menu and set the Path Steps value to 10 for smoother hair curves in the viewport. Enable X-ray mode to groom all hair particles from a single view. Switch to the side view and comb the hair backward. Continue grooming the hair to shape it into a ponytail hairstyle. You can add new hair particles if needed. Select the Add tool and set the particle count value to 1. This way, click on the head surface will add a single hair particle. Enable the Interpolate option so the new particle matches the length and shape of the existing ones. Set the Keys value to 10 to ensure the new particle has the same number of segments as the others. Then, use the brush in the required areas. You can also use the cut tool to trim the hair particles.
Switch back to object mode. Open up the viewport display panel and increase the strength steps to 7 to have a smoother look in the viewport. Also, open up the render panel and enable the B spline option. B spline is used to achieve smoother and more natural transition in hair or curves. Open up the children panel and create child hair particles with interpolated. So, it will add 10 children hair particle for each parent particle in the viewport. By default, it will add 100 particles in the render result. Let's set the hair particle amount to 50 for render. If you set the viewport amount to 50, you can see how many particles will be in the render result. Set the viewport amount to 5 to work easily in the viewport. Enable the long hair option so the long hair strands are distributed and interpolated more naturally and accurately. Open the parting section and set the parting value to 0.8. This will create a parting in the children based on the parent strands. In the clump panel, increase the clump value to 1 so the hair particles clump at the tips. Set the clump shape to 1 for a sharper effect. Next, open the roughness panel and increase the uniform value to make the hair look more natural. Set the uniform value to 0.1. To make the tail slightly curly, open the kink panel and change the kink type to curl. Set the shape value to 0.95 and Amplitude value to 0.02. Alright, let's simulate the hair. Go to the hair dynamics panel, enable it and open the panel to access the settings. Hair dynamics uses cloth simulation settings. Play this simulation and you'll notice the hair particle pass through the body without colliding. To fix this, select the body, go to the Physics Properties tab and add a collision physics. Do the same for the short by selecting it and adding collision. When you play the simulation again, the hair will now collide with the body and short properly. Another problem is that the hair suddenly pops out during the simulation. To fix this, select the body and go to the simulation settings. Open the collision section and lower the collision distance. When you play the simulation, it should look better. You can also increase the simulation quality and collision quality steps for more accurate result, but keep in mind that this will slow down the simulation. Another problem is that the hair we comp loses its shape and falls apart during the simulation. To fix this problem, set the pin goal strength value to 1 and play the simulation again. It looks better now. This controls how strong the specific parts of the hair are influenced by their pinned positions. But it still doesn't look like as desired. I want the hair roots to stay in place and tail parts follow the character movements. Let's switch to particle edit mode and select the weight brush tool. You'll be able to see the weights on the hair. Set the weight strength to 1 and apply the brush to the hair roots. The red areas will stay in place and won't move. Next, set the brush strength to 0 and apply it to the hair tails. The tail will be painted in blue, meaning it will move with the character's movements. 
It's best to create smooth transition between the red and blue areas for a more natural effect. Alright, let's go back to object mode and play the simulation again. Now open the structure panel and increase the stiffness value to 0.7. This controls how much the hair resists bending. Set the damping value to 0.6 to make the hair stiffer and keep the hair particles together. Finally, go to the cache panel and bake the simulation. It may take longer to bake depending on your simulation settings and computer specifications. Alright, let's add a hair pin. Add a torus object and position it in the right place by scaling, rotating and moving it. Unhide the armature and select it. Switch to pose mode and select the head bone. Then switch back to object mode, first select the hair pin, hold shift and select the armature. Press ctrl p and bind the hair pin to the head bone. Now when you play the animation, the hair pin will follow the head bone. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next tutorial.